Well, John Cena is certainly a man of the people. During breaks, he signs autographs every single commercial break that we've had. That's all well and good, but now hit and run. Let's, let's It'll do it. It'll be the biggest challenge of your career. Okay, let's do I'll it. I'll say something first thing that comes to your mind. I'm thoroughly intimidated. This all right, is my here intimidation we go. Face. The city with the best wrestling fans. Chicago, Illinois. Favorite meal. Uh, I didn't say it's the city with the world's most famous arena. That's Madison Square Garden, home of the WWE right here in New York City. But I had my first match in Chicago, and you can never have another first match, so I have a loyalty to that city. Favorite meal? Uh, steak. Uh, the most you ever deadlifted. Medium rare, Del Frisco's here in New York. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it's my favorite place. Uh, the most you ever deadlifted? Uh, 664 pounds. The wrestler or wrestlers with the best all around entrance? That's a really good question. Undertaker, right. bar none. I've been in the ring when his music hits and I literally just have chills. Best pound for pound wrestler? Uh, it depends on what you define as a wrestler. I will define as uh, the ability to entertain. That, therefore, my vote goes to Dwayne Johnson, Steve Austin, and Hulk Hogan. Okay. The greatest WWE champion of all time? I'll say Vince. Vince, yes. okay. The most underrated wrestler today? Uh, Cesaro. Yeah. Yeah. The wrestler with the weirdest superstitions, and do you have any superstitions? It would be me. I am like what, weird. Give me one. Uh, if I see a penny on the ground, heads up, I have to pick it up no matter what. I always knock on wood before the match. Uh, I always shake my opponent's hand and say, good luck, be safe, have fun, even when they want to kill me. And that's most of the time that they want to kill me. I always eat Tic Tacs before the match, starting about three hours. I consume probably five boxes of Tic Tacs <laughs> on a daily basis but before you're, you're a performance. you're a health guy. That's all sugar you throwing down. Dude, they're like Tic Tacs. But like you had one. five boxes. <laughs> yeah, but it's stretched out over the day. Uh, I, I have a lot of superstitions attached with sports entertainment as well as uh, weight training as well. Now, I just want to piggyback on the penny thing because I've always, I've always felt that too. But what if the penny's lying face up and it's in like dog poop? Are you are you're still picking it Can up? You always wash your hands, man. <laughs> Good luck comes at a price sometimes. It's a dirty job. The thing you tell someone who has not watched the wrestling match to entice them to go see one. You will be entertained, and it'll be the experience of a lifetime. It's something you'll talk about when you leave. The best advice anyone ever gave you. Show up to work early, be clean shaven, outwork the other guy. A favorite moment in your career. My next one. If you had a mulligan in life, obviously a do-over, what would you do differently? Not one damn thing. <laughs> favorite car. Uh, I know you have about 20 classic no, cars, my, right? No, uh, my favorite is a 1970 um, Pontiac GTO Judge. Uh, and I just think it's a beautiful car with a crazy psychedelic statement on it. And do you drive it? Or you just uh, I don't own it? one. I actually had to, I sold mine. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Favorite Japanese anime film? Uh, Fist of the North Star. Favorite rapper? Jay-Z. Late at night... In New York? <laughs> Who are you guys? <laughs> Late at night, John Cena's watching TV. Late night snack, what are you shoveling in your mouth? Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Any, any particular flavor? Chunky monkey. And finally, if you were trapped in a foxhole, what person would you most like to have in there with you to help you get out? Uh, Stephanie Nicole Garcia Colas, because she loves me and she supports me, but I've also seen her when she is mad, and trust me, you want her fighting with you instead of fighting against her. We're going to finish things up with John Cena when we return on the center stage.